Hey guys, so the engine light went off. Well, no worries, I was expecting this because engine was running very shaky when cold and after a long ride, the engine RPM would jump around when parked and in neutral. Um, this sometimes happens, sometimes not. Sometimes engine light was on, sometimes off. This kind of behavior indicates that a sensor or a valve is bad. If it would be something mechanical, like a broken hose, then the symptoms would be constantly showing. What you want to do before anything is to get yourself an OBD2 reader and check for the error codes in your engine. In my case, the error code showed powertrain error number P0171, system 2 lean, which essentially means that there is too much error or too less fuel in the air-fuel mixture. One of the very common issues of TFSI engines is that the PCV valve breaks. The positive crankcase ventilation controls the flow of crankcase fumes into the fresh intake air. It can be stuck open, leaking air, broken hose, bed seals, broken membrane, bed springs and so on and so on. This guy is made in a way that will eventually break. However, the good guys at Audi place this part on top of the engine, accessible to anyone. Now to replace this part, you need to remove the engine cover, locate the PCV valve, it's typically a good idea to take a picture of it so that you know which kind of hoses go where, how they are guided. This set includes new PCV valve, new set of hoses and new screws and new gasket. Remove all the hoses. Now when this is done, unscrew these four Torx. This is Torx 25. Now you can remove this PCV. Well, the gasket at least looks okay. Remove the old gasket and place in the new one. Boom, the new gasket is in. Now the new PCV valve. Turns out that the new screws are bigger and have more aggressive thread than the old screws, so I will just reuse them. Of course I will clean them a little bit and that's it. So screw down the new PCV valve, reconnect the hoses, so the new hoses, and then that's it. Now return the engine cover and let's try it out. Well, I placed back the engine cover which I essentially means that you put back the air filter. That's a little bit inconvenient because you need to assemble everything back before you can turn the car on. Anyway, I'm back in the car, let's, let's give it a go. Okay, looks good. The engine light is still on. I believe this will go away, but if not, I will just reset it with the OBD2 scanner. Okay, everything feels steady. Car is not shaky anymore. Also here, everything looks fine. And that's it. That's how you replace your PCB valve. I hope it will help someone to do it at home and not pay hundreds of euros or dollars. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.